in fifth hour were asking me, Dr. Sauer, when do we get to do proofs with these identities? Okay, nobody asked me that. But uh, we can we can use these identities. Let's do number 59 here first. Use an expansion cosine squared plus 2 sine x cosine x plus sine squared. Okay. And what is cosine squared plus sine squared? 1, 1 plus 2 sine x cosine x. And what is 2 sine x cosine x? What is it? Sine what? Sine of 2x. Or theta in this case, but that's all right. 1 plus sine 2x, left-hand side, equals right-hand side. What do you think? That's pretty cool. That works. That works. Uh, this one's a little trickier, but um, you're going to get a common denominator and watch it all work out. Uh, I want to see here if I want to do the next one. Yeah, I want to do the next one here. Let's go to example one here. It says 1 plus sine 2 theta over cosine 2 theta should be equal to cosine plus sine over cosine minus sine. Which side should we work, left or right? Let's do the left one. Leave the right side alone. So I'm going to write 1 plus 2 sine theta cosine theta. That's what that is. What is cosine 2 theta equal to? Cosine 2 theta, what's that? Cosine squared minus sine squared. What do you think? What's the next move? Yes, we can factor, we can factor the bottom into cosine theta plus sine theta. Brilliant. Cosine theta minus sine theta. Great. Yes. Well, uh, it does. We're turning it into this, though, because I'm going. I, I want to get this without two thetas in it. That's all right. Okay. Now this next move is going to break your brain. So you might want to put one hand on one side of your brain, one hand on the other side. Don't let it break. Hold it together. Anybody see what to do next? Anybody see it? Yes. What? Cosine squared plus sine squared? Why would that be a good idea? Now we can factor it. Now we can factor it. Come on. Where's my red? Here we go. Factor it into cosine theta plus sine theta times cosine theta plus sine theta over cosine theta plus sine theta cosine theta minus sine theta. Have you ever seen so much glorious algebra in your life? Does that make sense, what he did? Change the 1 into that? That's a definite creative leap because now you can see what happening. These two cancel out, right? And do you get what you're supposed to get? Cosine theta plus sine theta over cosine theta minus sine theta equal it's the same thing, isn't it? So there you were able to see both ways turning into double angles or uh, turning the double angles into regular cosines. You saw two ways to do proofs using double angle formulas. And this is a great one to do for practice. Your assignment is going to be to do day two. And day two has uh, the triangles where you're making 
sine, cosine, and using the double angle formulas, that those should go super slick. And then there's just three proofs in there. And then a challenge question. 